PC Perspectives coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by Logitech. See the latest gaming peripherals at gaming.logitech.com. Hey everybody, Ryan Shroud here with PC Perspective. We're here with Leon from Gigabyte, who's going to uh, walk us through the new X99 SoC Champion board, which is uh, kind of your new flagship for overclocking enthusiasts. Right. So this board is focused. Uh, we're launching it pretty late in the game, but it's still something that we want to show everyone. This is targeted toward those hardcore overclockers. You can see that it's very simple, very, very, uh, I guess, how would you say? Um, I mean, there's some features that were removed in order to make it more overclocking friendly, I guess, right? right. You got four dim slots instead of eight dim slots, right. and then they're, they're mounted differently. Correct. And uh, so as you can see, these are actually SMTs, so you don't see all of those pins at the back. But like you said, there's some features that are removed, but we also added other features, features such as this dip switch. So like we said earlier in our press release, this has a, a special socket that allows for better overclocking capabilities. Right. You guys said that it may have more pins Correct. than other sockets. What, why? What does that do? What's the secret? Well, I mean, this is something that a lot of people feel maybe with the more pins, it's better for stability, it's better for DDR4 control. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen that uh, the boards out there, with DDR4 being such a new platform, it's not easy to get a stable clock speed sure. on it. And in that being said, like I said, we do have this feature where you're able to switch to the standard Intel 2011 or you're able to use... So, so that physically disables or enables those pins? Those additional pins that we mentioned okay. earlier. Okay. Yes. And... In addition to that, you can see we do have these dip switches still. These are, uh, we with our SOC Force, with our Z97, our Z87, you've seen a lot of buttons on there. Now, that was an overclocking board nonetheless. This is also an overclocking board also, but like I said, this is targeted towards those hardcore overclockers. We've got a lot of LN2 guys working over here on this particular board right on now. this particular board, they'll be at uh, the Kingston OC Takeover event as well. They're using this board. They're going to be breaking a lot of records. Yeah. So that's definitely something that, you know, like I said, there's a lot of features and it's a great overclocking board. So would you say that the primary changes on this are the, the four rather than two dim slots and that kind of what lowers electrical noise for higher DDR4 overclocking? Yes, definitely. And again, we also have different things for like even audio. We're still focused on audio. Even though it's an overclocking board, yeah. we still have this noise separation here. We're still doing the left and right channels on different PCB layers. I do like the uh, 20 gigabit per second M.2 port on there as yep. well. Uh, when will this be available and how much is it going to cost us? So at the time being, we just launched, uh, we just released it today. So there's not an exact value of how much it's going to cost online, but it should be available starting in quarter one. So you guys might be able to see it on Newegg, Amazon, or any of the uh, retailers, Tiger Direct Micro Center, possibly. Right. Right. And definitely if you guys are interested in it, Post more. We have a Facebook page, Gigabyte USA. Find us on Facebook. Leave comments, feedback. Let us know what you think about the board because that's something we take account for when we do research on new or develop new boards in the future. Very cool. Thanks, Leon. All right. Bye. Bye.